Let's talk about Act One of Shakespeare for Squirrels by Christopher Moore. Well, um, I have known Christopher Moore for a while now. I've read a lot of his books, starting off with Dirty Job is where I jumped on, uh, a kind of supernatural contemporary comedy book with very body humor and uh, just, you know, kind of a schlubby guy at the, set, at the center of it who dies. Um, this is Christopher Moore doing, he's created a genre of, of um, body Shakespeare comedies um, going, going through kind of uh, the Shakespeare's plays and kind of mining them for, um, I can't remember which is the first one. The first one might be Fool, which is King Lear's Fool, um, but it's not done in like Shakespearean language. There's a lot of Shakespearean ad, um, um, insults. Uh, it's very. It's, it's probably got all the bodiness of of Shakespeare without the poetry or kind of the um, the the deep deep thing. But it's 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 Shakespeare passed through the intestines of of Christopher Moore and farted out the other side. Um, and I think he's actually gotten better at it as he's gone along. Fool was good, maybe a little bit stiff. Um, was it The Serpent of Venice was kind of a Othello one. Uh, and uh, now there's this there's this one, which is uh, it's it's a Shakespeare for squirrels, which is um, um, Pocket and uh, Drool. Pocket the Fool is shipwrecked on a 14th century Greek shore um and um they fall into a midsummer night's dream they fall upon um fairies um there's a murder puck gets murdered by a crossbow uh there's the um the uh, mechanicals players that they get scrum some food off of uh they end up in jail at uh, king theseus's castle where queen Hippolyta the Amazon warrior, warrior, um, woman, queen is, is, uh, hires him to go back into the forest to, uh, to, to, um, I think it's, uh, to get, to, um, to find out who, who killed, who killed, uh, Puck, Robin Goodfellow. But, uh, he, uh, before he can leave, uh, King Theseus, who is definitely a, a dork, is, is, is kind of an older, Kind of bumbling, not not nowhere near up to Queen Hippolyta's level, um, is uh, also hires him to go and re retrieve something from the fairy queen, the fairy queen Minerva, whatever his name is. Oh, see, I'll have to get all my names right. Um, and it, it's all done with a very kind of contemporary flavor to it. You know, it's it's kind of a fantasy, fantasy fourteenth century. Uh, uh, Greece, much as Shakespeare's fantasy, 14th century Greece was also because of a fantasy, but um, yeah, yeah, it's it's fun, it's fun so far. Uh, lots of body humor. Uh, Pocket is 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 the schlub at the middle of it, who's who's being kind of pulled this way and that way. He's a very short little guy with a big dick. He, he usually there's a little less of the big dickness so far in this one, but. Uh, he actually turns down a role in the hay with Cobweb, which, you know, oh, that's out of car character for him. He, they, they end up shipwrecked because the uh, pirate, the pirate uh, Jessica, I think, she, does she die? I can't remember if she dies. And then the, the pirates get tired of him and just put him, send him overboard, but they at least put him on a, on a raft or something with he, Drool, and his 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 monkey uh, Jeff Jeff is it Jeff his monkey Jeff who apparently may have drowned but probably will show up at some point uh, they're holding on to drool his uh, his his pal his apprentice his 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 giant of a uh, simpleton who uh, he's like uh, I have to do what they want me to do because I have to come back and you know spring drool because they're both threatening to kill him if they don't. So yeah, it's a good good act one. It's amusing, it's fun, it's light. I'm, I'm, I'm down for that at the moment. It's uh, 
Christopher Moore has done a couple of other things. He did a sequel to A Dirty Job just recently, which felt like a sequel, just kind of a bit tired. Uh, and uh, I hate his, he's, he kind of had these moneymaker, what I consider moneymaker, the uh, Love Love Bites um, trilogy of things where I just hate the, the main characters in them. So I, I'm I, out of Christopher Moore stuff. I actually, his Fool Pocket and uh, the Shakespeare, Shakespeare books are fun. Not so much. I mean, I'm definitely getting a lot of Shakespeare in, in general, but uh, lately, but it's also just kind of, um, it's fun and it's body and Maybe part of it is its body in the Shakespearean time, so I don't have to think about it as, oh, kind of like maybe Christopher Moore body, modern humor maybe wouldn't work as well now in a changed change time. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. But yeah, so that's what I'm that's what I'm listening to at the moment. Act one is done. We'll continue on. I'll let keep you keep you informed as you're just dying to hear 